Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back to Deponia. Let's continue. So, we're trying to sneak by. We've got the backup cartridge, we've got the outfit, the improvised Cletus costume. <laughs> Let's go. Put this on the Cletus. I have surpassed myself. So, when we go over here, to look at the map. We are right here trying to sneak past the Organons. Then we're gonna get back to Gull and sneak past the Organons with Gull, go back to the platform with Gull, and then get to Elysium. Which I. <laughs> okay, so here's what I would do as a video game creator. Uh, my fear here is since we've already played for. About ten and a half hours in this game is the first chapters one through three is the first third of a trilogy that is supposed to be thirty hours about based on my research then my fear is there's going to be nothing here or just a little bit here and then we're going to get to Elysium and then we're going to be done with the game. What I would have done as a creator is we've got to come to the realization that Rufus's life is not going to really be improved by betraying Goal, which is still a ridiculous name, uh, and going to Elysium. So I would like perhaps a point to be added right here that goes back to his home, Tony, and we start trying to sneak uh, we start trying to get back home and realize, yeah, we can do something on Deponia. We can make a life here. We can work hard. I doubt that Rufus would make that quick of a character shift, uh, but I like some of that, and that's what I would do as a game. Of course, Gold does need to get up to Elysium. I need to get her up there because... She needs to report that there are people on Deponia, or they're just going to blow up the whole planet. But first, I just got to sneak past. So let's just walk past. Stop! Who goes there? It's me, Cletus. Well? Well, what? The cartridge. Did you find it? Of course. Here it is. Don't panic. Where? I can hardly make out anything. And why are you lurking around in the shadows like that anyway? Come into the light where I can see you, man. I, uh... Well, uh... <laughs> But my dear Bailiff, I beg of you a bit more courtesy. Don't forget, we're all working to reach the same goal here. Let the Ambassador pass. The faster he finds this Rufus person, and by extension the Ascension Codes, the sooner we can follow through with our mission. As you wish, sir. I do believe that the Ambassador has very well understood the seriousness of our current situation. I'm sure he is aware that he has only this one chance to retrieve the Ascension Codes. And if that fails, we'll employ our own methods of retrieving them. Isn't that right, Ambassador? Of course, sir. So... Oh boy, that was pretty close. I think I can get rid of the disguise for now. I doubt they'll fall for that a second time anyway. And that's not something I can pick up, it looks like. So... I'm starting to wonder if all the Elysiums are actually robots. All the Orgons and all the Elysiums are actually just robots and androids, and there are no human lives at all uh, in Elysium. Or if they're cyborgs. I mean, they might be cyborgs. They're, they're indicating they're cyborgs, but I'm wondering if they're not just straight up all robots. Guess it really doesn't matter. Oh, where is she? Oh, darn it, she's gone. What happened here? Did the Organons find her? That's it. That's it. He would have mentioned it. Who else could have taken it? We'll find out. I have to find her before that Argus guy does. 
Gee, it would have been nice if we had not had this machine running while that whole conversation was going on. But so now we're gonna have to find her. So we're getting a little bit more puzzle to play here. Whoa, I wouldn't have seen that trace in the dark, even if I had used my sonar powers. So we have a torch now. First thing, let's use the stick back in the cotton candy machine. Just in case we need it. And then let's use the torch light on the puddle of phosphor. to the rescue. Uh, do we need another piece of gum? I think we're out. Mm, must be okay, so we're out of gum. I don't think we have any reason. So are we going to introduce a... a time travel situation. We've seen the one-off joke, joke where we blow up the nuclear reactor, but I'm not sure if that's really how the story is going to go. Hmm. So it seems pretty obvious goal is going to get drag out to the tower um, and that's good there's all those puzzle elements also out there so we have more of a puzzle and that means that area isn't just <laughs> wasted space we Where haven't the seen heck of those pigs taking gold too uh, it We haven't seen any sections where elements weren't super used. There we go. Obviously, I could have figured that out, but... Who took her is the question. Well... This fence. All of a sudden that door opens. Oh, we she carried away by some kind of creature? be carried underground. So let's grab a stack of needles. Well, free choice. Ouch! Not this one. Ouch! Oh god! Huh. This one respects me. I'll take it. Hey, this isn't a syringe at all. <laughs> I've literally found the straw in a needle stack. Who else can claim such a thing about himself? Oh no. I don't know who would be dumb enough to do that. Let's see if we can look at the grating, see if we can actually open it. A monster must have abducted Cole. No normal human being could open that with bare hands. No grate in the world can hold me back. Hmm. So will the hook here pry the grating open? Well, gee, that was easy. Before we leave, we've we have been bitten by pixel hunting before. So, since this is the first time we're in this area, 
let's take a moment just to look around and make sure there's nothing else besides the stack of needles. I guess there isn't. Let's go into the cable chute. Uh, let's look at this hook. And this whale. This is a avial muff. Avial muff. Ah, that's a power inverter part. If we remember from chapter two, let's look at the whale. Wow, a real whale. I always wanted Dad to take me to the aquarium, but he was right. There was only room enough for me in that fish tank. Huh. Uh, the whale looks hungry. So, how could any life be supported on a planet full of so much junk? Uh, you couldn't maintain an ecosystem. Well, I wouldn't think you could. Let's see, behind the tower, and we have a whale and a trash heap. Looks like somebody doesn't want to be followed, but you're not getting rid of me that easily. I am like herpes. <laughs> a cool version of herpes. I've got to get through all right, but by cleaning up? Oh, there has to be a different solution. Hmm. <sighs> Let's see. This is supposed to be Goal's backup consciousness? But her most important memory is missing. Me! This is a avial muff. Hmm. Okay, so I am effectively confused. Hmm. Can I not? Maybe I can come over here finally and pick up like this horn this fork, this crank, that would give me some new elements. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Nope. Can I walk to the fence exit now? I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Hmm. Would be kind of funny if he did. Uh, have telekinetic powers. This is dumb enough that it might work. Let's use the straw on the pool. Just drink up all this radioactive water. Yeah, that would really be super cool. And the straw would make a great snorkel. But as long as nobody's watching, it would be a total waste of effort. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Hmm. Brilliant. I'll finally get rid of this nasty taste. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay. New mission. <laughs> so I did drink some of the water. So I'm not buying in that I need to buying that I need to actually go back to the other area. Let's go back to the cable chute and see if we can put the food on the hook. And perhaps, com well, convince the whale to eat it. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Huh, must be on a diet or something. Well, how about we try the anchovy well, I guess on the, the stick. eye has to dine out tonight if it wants to be pleased. Try the anchovy on the hook. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Huh, it doesn't even seem to see them. Uh, try the anchovy on the stick with the whale. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Huh, it doesn't even seem to see them. Hmm. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Huh, must be on a diet or something. Okay. 
What if we use this with this? Okay, let's give it another try. My bad. It was the cotton candy that was phosphorus. Let's try the torchlight with the Better to be safe than sorry. Hmm. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Huh, must be on a diet or something. Try this on this trash. Make me happier. Hmm. Try this on the trash. Yeah, it's bright enough in here. Hmm. Try the flashlight on the way. You can see me all right. At least it's looking in my direction like a cat that's preparing to pounce. I like cats. So put the fish in you something. Go. Huh. Although they're dead, they're holding on tight to the stick. Strange. I'm trying to see if I can get the fish to glow in the dark. Huh. Although they're dead, they're holding on tight to the stick. Strange. So I don't think it's to the concourse that the solution is. I think I've got to get the fish to glow. Let's try the fish on the stick with the lighted archway. Come on, be useful. Puddle phosphorus, we have anchovy on the stick. Let's try it on the cotton candy machine, then the puddle of phosphorus. Ah, so now we have bait! Who would have even known? And then, yeah, just like fishing, you have glow in the dark bait. Be light. So now we have glowing bait. Skip to the tower. Skip to the behind the tower. And skip down the chute. Double clicking so I can skip things. So now we put the glowing bait on a hook like we're fishing. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Here I am behind the cracked window. <laughs> Stupid animal. Did it knock the junk out of the way? I guess it did. Stupid animal, I nearly just got drowned. A wrecked cable boat. Let's see. Before we go further, we want to pixel hunt. Ah, locked. Distrustful bunch, these pirates. Hmm. We had some different music. There's some bats sleeping here, but they can't be clicked on. Just pixel hunting, making sure there's nothing here to click on. Nothing here to pick up. I don't want to get stuck again. This is actually a little strange. 
that we're, we're getting these scenes where only one item, one or two items are interactable at all. Like only the chest, only the hook in the previous scene, only the pile of needles. Well, who do we have here? What? Welcome to Bozo's Trash Trawler. I'm Bozo. Don't shoot! I'm unarmed! What? I don't want to shoot you. Listen, I don't want any trouble. I'll just get my girlfriend and we'll leave. No reason to get violent. So, that's the illusion you were talking about? Doc, what are you doing here? Did this pirate kidnap you too? Don't worry, I'll save you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not a pirate, and I didn't kidnap anyone either. Well, that was easy. I haven't got much time. I need to keep the Organon from blowing up Deponia. What? Why should the Organon blow up Deponia? I, uh, no, I can't tell you uh, anymore. I'm on the track of a conspiracy of enormous proportions. I, uh, I can't get you involved in all this. You don't know yourself, do you? Well, that's, <laughs> that's confidential, too. All I can tell you <laughs> is this. I have to find a way to wake up Goal. Well... Then you've come aboard the right trawler. I know a lot about brain implants. Just like me. I guess the cartridge was damaged. Hand it over for a second. Just press the eject button. Hey, keep away or you'll board the pain train. Pain train? Who do you think I am? Just wanted to help you. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Press the eject button. So, of all the buttons I might consider pressing, what would be the eject button? Oh. Well, we don't, it would be too simple, wouldn't it? That it's actually just on the interface when I figured you were going to have to, like, bop her in the nose, hit an eyebrow, poke a cheek pull in the air or something. <laughs> Almost dropped it. Hold your horses, young man. Such a cartridge has to be handled with loving care. One scratch and your girlfriend is nothing but organic waste. Don't worry, she's in good hands. Do you have the cartridge? Sure do. There you go. That was the complicated part, right? Stop joking and show me. Ah, yes. What's your diagnosis? Um, the battery's down? Well, in that case, there's nothing we can do. We should scrap the thing and... Wait a minute. You're just messing with me, aren't you? There's just some dust on the contact pins, that's all. Yeah, and you totally fell for it. Well, <laughs> this shouldn't be a problem at all. Clean the pins and reinsert it. You mean, I should dust? You sound like my ex-girlfriend. Did you scrap her, too, because her battery was down? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Let's grab a key, cuz. Why not? Hey, you've stolen my key. And you have kidnapped my girlfriend. Oh, she was not kidnapped. And I can put her back out into the cold if you prefer. And how are you going to do that? All without a key. Not a problem. My door is always open. So, you shouldn't be wondering when things get stolen around here all the time. <laughs> what a silly argument. So we can talk to Doc. We can talk to Captain Bozo. I'm trying to figure out if this is a frying pan or a leash. I think it's some kind of crudely fashioned frying pan. just want to pixel hunt a little bit more and so we have the two cartridges the backup cartridge and the regular cartridge uh, which opens the door you might put the wrong cartridge in and just leave the pony completely just go for the bad so, ending did you clean the contact pins yet I'm Almost done. Hurry up! It's not good for the head if the conscience gets disconnected for too long. <laughs> Don't I know it. <sighs> I hope they know how to party in a museum. 
So can't talk to him yet. Well, can I help in any way? <laughs> nice try, but I'm not gonna fall for it. <laughs> I'm not conning you. I... Don't even try, Blackbeard. <laughs> if I find out you've done anything to the girl... Well, I'd never. Uh, what do you mean? She was like that when I first found her. I thought she could use a doctor. Yo-ho-ho and a bottle of rum, right? <laughs> what? No. I... I thought so. Let's see. I think I'll suggest a truce. I suggest a truce. Not because I'm scared of you, but out of consideration for the lady. Okay? I don't even have any weapons. Are you calling me a coward? If you want to fight, you just have to say so. <laughs> What's going on here? Do you even listen to what I say? Huh. I thought as much, you chicken. I'm gonna keep my eye on you. I'm just sitting here. That's right. That's right. Okay. So, how do I clean the pins? I guess I'm gonna have to go to the boat and see if I can find some cleaning equipment. Let's try this key in the chest. There! Open! Let's get rid of the key! <laughs> really? Have we here a small brush, miniature bellows, a sealed pack of hand wipes? <laughs> what useless junk! I want to clean a cartridge, not refurbish a doll's house. Ah, yes, this looks much better. A steel brush and a bottle of degreaser. I'll uh, leave the girly stuff. So all the equipment you would really want to use. What am I doing? Degreaser and steel brush. <laughs> that should clean any data storage device. So, I, as a computer person, am reticent to destroy the backup cartridge, but I feel, feel like I need to try this first, or I am going to actually destroy the original, which we need to keep. I should be more careful with Gold's consciousness. Who knows if there's a backup for the backup? Hmm. Gold's memory is stored on it. Cautions and vines. Ah, well, that's just a tiny speck of dust. We'll have that cleaned up in no time. Hmm. Instructions. Gold's data set is in good hands, Rufus' hands, even though they're, they're lonely cleaning work. Right. Equipped with the right tools and a good deal of caution, it should be a piece of cake to clean up. That is what required to do, so... So we're missing a tool right now, and it looks like this puzzle is going to have us... Let's see, so what would the other tool be? I guess maybe I have to just do this right now. Let's try it. Degrease the contact pin. Steel brush the contact pin. Steel brush on gold consciousness chip? Only if I absolutely can't avoid it. 
Only if I absolutely can't avoid it. Only if I absolutely can't avoid it. Hmm. So we can't do anything yet. I really can't pick up these things. I'll uh, leave the girly stuff. I'm not leaving without gold. Who knows what the pirate will do to her? Okay, that makes this puzzle a little bit smaller in scope. So we kind of just need know what to do now. Let's just give the steel bush to Doc. I hope you're not planning to clean the cartridge with that. What? With this? <laughs> well, wouldn't that be stupid of me? <laughs> yes, it would. Fundamentally. Uh, Degreaser and steel brush. <laughs> that should clean any data storage device. I don't need light for my inventory. I sort everything according to an infallible... Hey, where's my bucket? I hope you're not planning to clean the cartridge with that. What? With this? <laughs> well, wouldn't that be stupid of me? <laughs> yes, it would. Fundamentally. Hmm. So let's give the backup cartridge to Doc. The second cartridge should remain my secret for now. Hmm. Not a chance. I'll hang on to it till my last... Breath. Hmm. Nope. Let's talk to so, Doc. Did you clean the contact pins yet? I'm almost done. Hurry up! Let's just pixel hunt here before we put the backup cartridge in. We can't talk to Captain Bozo. Maybe there is something in the dialogue. How can you bear to be in this stinking pirate's den? I've just cleaned it up. Oh yeah? Well, the rear ends of sea cows smell better than you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll give it another good mopping later. Haha! <laughs> By Neptune's navel to the port side! Arr! And don't you get in our way, you hear? You can burn and loot as much as you want later on. But right now, I need some expertise in precision engineering. Well, I've studied precision engineering. I've even had three years of... Yeah, yeah, spare me your stories about your looting <laughs> expeditions, Mr. Teach. I'm dealing with a problem that can't be solved with brute force here. Ah. Uh. I'm gonna keep my eye on you. Just sitting here. That's right. So, That's right. in the middle of that pointless conversation, I noticed there is a duster sitting right here. In the middle of the screen. I wouldn't take that feather duster. I use it to clean the tanks. Oh, sounds promising enough. If you can clean a tank with it, then it must work twice as well for a measly cartridge. I know what I'm doing. So the problem with a lot of these games, both find the hidden object games and point and click adventures, just too much stuff everywhere. Uh, and I per personally have a problem in which I like to call, I can't see the trees for the forest. So I did not see that duster. I got very lucky that I was able to find it. Didn't have to look at a walkthrough or anything, but I very easily could have had to. So now we have the feather duster. Let's use it on the dust. Oh, bleh. the duster has dusted everything with dust. And oh, oh no, three spot. I'll have to give it the once over. So now we use the degreaser on the three spot. It's supposed to be like this. This doesn't have to be clean yet. Hmm. It's supposed to be like this. 
hope it's supposed to be like this. Only if I absolutely can't avoid it. So I'm corroding and dusting. Uh oh, lint alert! Destroying this. I'm totally dust like corroding and dusting. No good. So Oh no. This is beyond help. <laughs> good thing I still have an ace up my sleeve. <laughs> no! The cartridge is filthy enough already. Time for a bigger caliber. So I've got dusty greases and corroded. Dusty greasy and corroded. D dusty greases and Increasing growth. <sighs> what in the world am I doing? Ta da! Ta da! He scratched his name in it. Rufus and Gull. Ta da! Good as new! And those scratches could have come from anywhere. Hmm. So, did you clean the contact pins yet? Yep, all clean and shiny. Very good. Show me. Just a minute. Did this have those scratches before? What? Oh, those. I noticed them before. Inconceivable how those young ladies treat their brain implants these days, isn't it? Yes. And they don't even have to eject them from their drives either. Inconceivable. Well, a couple of scratches. They can't be too grave, can they? Talking about grave, has someone engraved his name and a little heart on there? Uh, you better give that back. It'll work just fine. Well, it has to. What a lunatic thing. What? Where am I? Cletus? Is that you? No. Give me a second. You are Rolfi. Rufus. I recognize you. How is that big hole? I remember a hospital wall. There were other people too. Deponians! So it is true. Deponia is inhabited. The Organon lied to us. I have to contact Cletus. Well, uh, that's almost a good idea. <laughs> Just almost, unfortunately. Your oh so wonderful fiance is in cahoots with the Organon. Cletus is. What? Ah, uh, I heard. Maybe you should sit down first. But I'm already sitting. Don't worry, baby. I'll explain everything. Hmm. Let's go through all of them, I guess. I saved you. I can hardly remember anything. Not even how I saved you from the clutches of the Organon? There was this conveyor belt, and hey, you were there too. You were operating those levers. Or how I nursed you back to health. I, I remember a, a stinging taste on my tongue. And how I carried you halfway around the planet. Wait a minute. Wasn't there a crane? Well, obviously, <laughs> you don't remember anything. Well, be that as it may, you can thank me later. Your implant was malfunctioning. Your fall from the Organon cruiser damaged it. The Organons pushed me off the cruiser? Well, yes. Thank God yes. I could fix everything. Actually, it was me who supervised the repairs. Yeah, of course you did, Gramps. <laughs> Everyone wants a slice of acknowledgement. And now everything's all right. And now everything's all right. And now everything's all right again. Exactly. <laughs> Cletus is a traitor. He's collaborating with the Organon. Of course he is. The Organon is our escort on our reconnaissance mission. Yes, uh, of course, but somehow Ulysses has convinced him to falsify his report. He'll advise the Council of the Elders to blow up Deponia. Despite the planet being inhabited. The monster. Exactly. The Organon 
plans to destroy Deponia. I know that. That's why Cletus and I came here, to see if Deponia was really uninhabited. But people do live here, and Ulysses wants to hide the fact, so that he can blow up Deponia anyway. We must stop him at all costs. Uh, I agree. So I could say you've been kidnapped by a pirate, but I don't see a real reason. Enough talking. We have to prevent the Organon from destroying Deponia. It'd be best if you took me along to Elysium. Then we could tell your people the truth, and everything will be fine, right? Right. Uh, for real? You're taking me along? To Elysium? Why wouldn't I? All we need is a perfect plan. <laughs> hey, you're talking to the right man. Perfect plans are my specialty. Okay, shoot. I should take over the Oregon Crazer. We should fix up the trash trawler. We should set a trap for Argus. Hmm. I think we should probably fix up the trash trawler and try to avoid conflict. We should fix up the trash trawler. We can easily find everything we need for that in the trash heaps. For the kerosene, we'll milk the Organon cruiser. After that, We'll just need a large slingshot and several tons of raw rubber. Wouldn't it be easier to pass you off as Cletus? You bear a striking resemblance to him. Well, I don't know. My body is much better toned. We'll <laughs> overpower him and go back to Elysium together. Oh, that could work. It's a good thing I thought of that. And what about us? Oh, you... Don't worry. When Elysium is informed that there's still life on Deponia, they'll call the demolition off. Yeah. And we'll be on Elysium. We'd be heroes. And everybody will be happy. Exactly. Well, what are we waiting for? Yay. So, for the first time in the game, goal is not just this hunk of meat that we've been dragging around. She seems to walk to specific points. Hmm. Imagine we'll run into trouble here. Yep. Uh-oh. That's Argus and his officials. Quick, take cover. Again, we are searching for a Deponian male and a tall Elysian female. We found their traces, so we know that they must still be nearby. If you find them, arrest them at once. The Elysian must not be eliminated. The Deponian, on the other hand, may. Hey, did you hear that? Yeah, I guess I'm too much of a threat to them. Why? Is he too much of a threat to us? No, don't worry. He's just in our way. Hey. Get to work, men. There must be <laughs> someone in the compound. Keep an eye on that gate. Don't let them escape. They obviously have no idea who they're dealing with. They never. I'll show them the meaning of he's just in our way. Go get him, Tiger. Go get him, Tiger. Well, I'm missing the costume to fake myself as Cletus again. Shouldn't have thrown that away. Let's see. We have a torchlight. We could try to blind him. Yeah, it's bright enough in here. Okay. It said uh, he would only use the straw on the pool if somebody was watching. Someone's yeah, watching. Totally watching this. this is something that I'll only do once. So we go to the trunk. And we go from the trunk to this point. We can I'll grab the horn. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Can we grab the crank? I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Can we grab I'll the horn? I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Put exit. Ow! Can I grab the I'll fork here? I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Uh, 
left window versus the right window. Wow. They're getting really specific here. Grab I'll save the horn. my telekinetic powers for later. Really? I still can't grab the one. Can I grab the crank? French door. Can I grab the one now? I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. I guess not. Grab the fork. Canopy top. Ow! What was that? Did you hear that too? Sounded pretty miserable. Yes, it did. Well, I don't think we need to be frightened of an animal that makes sounds like that. It's probably physically challenged. <laughs> Crap. As long as the top is down, I can't make out anything in here. Hmm. And this is the canopy top. Let's... Can I use the fork on the canopy top? On the horn. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Left window Ow. exit. And the horn. Now? I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Hood exit. A fence exit? I mean, we've been seeing that I'll save my fe fence exit for a while. Is there something else here? I know we can come out this pipe to grab the horn. <laughs> the bone shattering honking will knock them out cold. Ugh, which brings us to plan B. Fork in the horn, and then use the horn. What was that? No, that was not a cat. That was something big. A cow. A cow must be entangled in this pile of junk. So it would seem. <laughs> Stupid animal. Whew. Good thing I'm always thinking on my feet. What a weird puzzle. It is just a very weird puzzle that it's been here the whole time. We had to jump through all these different exits that we had to pixel hunt for. This should have been its own scene, and this could have been put in one of the previous areas. Having so many objects so easily seen early on in this chapter doesn't help anything. Don't forget it, there's nothing there. Let's see. Can I get to the crane I'll leader? save my telekinetic powers for later. No, but we can get to the fence exit, I believe. We've got a platypus stuffed doll. Let's see, can we use this? I don't this? need light for my inventory. I sort everything according to an infallible... Hey, where's my bucket? Let's look at the doll. <laughs> How incredibly stupid. Am I supposed to just use the doll with them? They'd make a great trio, but two jokers standing in my way are enough. And I can't go to this fence exit. Hmm. I can't just throw this at the crane lever. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. The only thing I can think. Oh, let's look Finally at the Finally, I can get over there without it squeaking. Am I supposed to talk to Goal? She's too far away, but I can read her lips. 
You can make it. What do you mean, fake? Fake what? <laughs> Maybe we put this with the pool. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Well, I can't even go back in here. I'll save my telekin. So I can't even come back from this point. So, what, put this back on the board? And then look at it. <laughs> that was incredibly stupid. Now I hear it too. Hello? Hello, who's that? Your paranoid 2017. Wait a minute, all of a sudden that works? To the crane we go. Hmm. And I guess we'll just use the crane lever. <laughs> Maybe because I squeaked it twice, I convinced them to stand closer together, and I just didn't see that. That wasn't see that. half bad. Hey, half bad is my second name, babe. Stop calling me that. Oh, come on. We need to hurry. So we're just going to auto walk over here. Oh, the walk through this Stop. section. Who goes there? It's me, Cletus, accompanied by my charming fiance, Go. Finally, I was afraid she'd already eloped with that disgusting deponium. What a bizarre thought. Oh, confrere, Buttercup. Don't be afraid to admit that you did cast a covetous eye on that. <laughs> Rufus, very understandable. To me, he seemed like a dashing daredevil. On the contrary, honey bunny. He was nothing more than a self-centered fool. That's enough. You two will have enough time to frolic once we've returned to Elysium. Oh, yeah, finally, final, uh, um, fi 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 final preparations for our return have been made. Very well. Now, I need to talk to you in private, Ambassador. Uh, uh of, of course. Why don't you scuttle on ahead? Darling, me and the bailiffs have urgent matters to discuss. <laughs> Seemingly. B but. Shoo shoo, sugar. <laughs> if you insist. <laughs> so we'll see each other in a short while then. Toodaloo. Have you lost your mind completely? I thought we had an agreement. The memories of Ms. Goal must be deleted. And we need the ascension codes. Don't panic. I'm working on it. I'll swap the cartridges and, uh, Leave the original on the platform? That, that that should make everyone happy, right? Yes, everyone except for the Deponians. <laughs> if you try anything funny, I'll personally decapitate you with a rusty knife. Ding. So, clean goals implant. Did we not already clean goals implant? Maybe we didn't, didn't or did. Seems like it's saying we haven't. But I think we did that puzzle already. Hmm. So we have this weird situation here that we just need to kind of continue upward and see if we're going to, in the next 10 minutes or so, finish this chapter or run into another puzzle. You can't be serious. People are living here, Cletus. I've seen them with my own eyes. I already told you. Ulysses is right. We can't... Am I interrupting? Rufus, 
Finally, I was about to throw this ignorant idiot from the tower. Don't ask me why I fancied him in the first place. What are you doing, Rufus? I thought we had an agreement. Think again, Cletus. I'll go to Elysium with Gaul. <laughs> this is a joke, right? Please go. Tell me that this is a joke. It's not a joke. Rufus will come to Elysium with me. He'll help me to tell everyone the truth about Deponia. <laughs> and you really believe they'll grant someone like him access to Elysium? Why not? Everyone will think it's you. Him? Don't make me laugh. Are we just gonna copycat him? Uh, give it up, Cletus. Do I have to get angry for this? Let's just copycat him and see what happens. Don't make me laugh. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. Besides, that doesn't sound even remotely like me. I think he does quite a good impression of you. <laughs> Be that as it may, this one-man flea circus will never pass from me. Look at the way he dresses. Disgusting. You two go ahead and sort it out between you. But... Rufus? <laughs> and you're planning to elope to Elysium with a wimp like that? Don't make me laugh. At least Rufus knows how to treat a woman well. Oh, you mean right after he's bludgeoned her with a club? What have we here? A second disguise. Let's see who's the better Cletus. At least Rufus knows how to treat a woman well. Oh, you mean right after he's bludgeoned yeah, her well. with a club? Almost as good as my handmade disguise. <laughs> the inventory in these rags is ridiculously small. You can't even fit a bucket and mop in there, let alone a parrot with two hats. I'll put my stuff here for now. Rufus is miles ahead of you. Yes, especially in See the what else is on his back. Lace underwear for men. <laughs> he can keep those. At least Rufus knows how to treat a woman well. So oh, you mean right after he's bludgeoned her with a club. We have no inventory. Let's just Rufus go talk to him then, I guess. You. Are you talking about a class I of can't pull the handle next to him. Rufus is twice the or man you are. use the flagpole. Maybe, Maybe I can use the, the flagpole. They'll greet me with a ticker tape parade in Elysium and confetti. Oh boy, I love confetti. Rufus has more in his head than you have. There you go. Let's talk yeah, to him again. Right, I'm sure you could feed three horses with it. <laughs> so this is the whip you want to replace me with. Don't make me laugh. So now I copycat him again. Don't make me laugh. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. Besides, that doesn't sound even remotely like me. I think he does quite a good impression of you. <laughs> Be that as it may, this one-man flea circus will never pass from me. He can try and put on my clothes all he wants and infest them with bugs. There is still one thing where I'm completely different. Oh my... Your sagging butt cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> My birthmark, you dumbass. Okay. Grab the speedos. Yeah, what are you doing? Ouch! Put those speedos on the flagpole. No, don't! Ha! <laughs> 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 yeah! We did it! We really did it! Towards Elysium! Not so fast, buddy. What was the agreement that Cletus was talking about? What? Oh, that. Forget it. That's all toxic waste under the bridge. Let's go to Elysium! Wait a minute. That's it, right? You don't even care about what happens to Deponia. You just want to get to Elysium, whatever the cost. Me? No! What a change of attitude. He sounded quite different earlier. Deponia stinks. Only idiots live here. If it were up to me, they could blow the whole place sky high. Yada, yada, yada. You keep out of this. Don't believe a word he's saying, Gold. He just wants to drive us apart. But how do I know I can trust you? Trust this rat. Don't make me laugh. No, he hates Deponia. He's an egomaniac, a thief and a traitor. Just go through his things. I'm pretty sure you'll find a backup cartridge, just in case you realize what he's up to. He wouldn't do that. Well, go ahead. Have a look. Gaul, don't. Gaul, listen, you don't understand. I think I understand very well. You know, Rufus, 
I really thought you were something special. But I am something special. I know you think that, but you're nothing but an egotistical scoundrel. You don't only really resemble Cletus on the outside. Come over here. I want to take a good look at you before I return to Elysium alone, so I can remember what kind of a face not to fall for yet a third time. Third time? What's the ding here? Uh, am I supposed to hit her thing? Or am I supposed to kiss her? My guess would be to kiss her, but doesn't seem like it. Seems like I've got to eject. There's nothing else I can do. Can't pull up the inventory. About time, too! Get me down from here! Why should I? From the start, you've been jeopardizing our plans, Cletus. Rufus, on the other hand... You can't be serious! You're not saying you trust this lying rat more than me! Why not? He is indeed a lying rat! Hey! But that's what makes him the perfect man for the job! He'll be celebrated as a hero in Elysium, and he'll get the girl! He'll get everything he ever dreamed of! Do you really think uh -oh. he'd risk all that just to save his home that he loathes so much? He's not mad enough to do that! Once Gold sees his true self, he'll lose everything he tried to achieve! He'll never take that risk! Congratulations, Rufus. You did it. Just insert the backup cartridge and you can leave. Elysium awaits you. Wow. What a way to end. You don't even have a choice. No, no, don't. I know that you need to go easy on your back. And once we're back on Elysium, I'll give you a nice background. Okay? I guess so. Come on, don't make such a gloomy face. In a way, it's a good thing that our inspection was without results. Although, I can't remember everything. Or was there something else? Come on, how about a bit more enthusiasm towards Elysium and all that? Yes? No? Um. What's wrong? Is there something you'd like to tell me? Aren't you happy to be going back to Elysium? I am. It's just that... Well then? Towards Elysium, right? <sighs> Feel bad. Let's continue. Let's a confess. It's like this. I'm all is. Well. What are you stammering about? Spit it out. It's just that... You're beginning to scare me. What's wrong with you? Alright then. I'm gonna tell you that, but you have to promise not to get mad. Why, Cletus? Why would I get mad at you? Calm really? down. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Some con man erases my memory, poses as my fiance, and almost gets me involved in a genocide, <laughs> and I'm supposed to relax. I, I told you about it, didn't I? I mean, I'm the I'm the good guy. You'll be the dead guy if you don't return my old memories. But That'd be suicide. Believe me, buddy, not doing it would be suicide. Okay, okay. And now remove this fragment of pseudo-personality from my brain. And don't even think about inserting it again. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Ungrateful. Ooh, fortunately, the goal on the other cartridge likes me a bit more. Ding. 
back to goal. Oh, so apparently we're gonna have to obtain gold's cartridge. Is it not just in the uh, back? Lace underwear for men. <laughs> he could eat those. Okay, so we've got more puzzle to do. I thought for a second there it was gonna just end, and I doubt though that you could have ended it that way. That would have been a pretty bad ending uh, to just go up to Toponia and have it destroyed. And then, then what in the world would you do with the rest of the 10 chapters? So we've got more to play and we will do it next recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it and make a donation. And if you want a friend to follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.